you made it. You're here. It's day three, and you're still sticking with us. And you know what's happening today? We're tackling your week, baby. We've done all the planning. We've done all the planning. We've done all the prioritizing and more planning and more planning. And now it's time to execute. And now is the fun part when you get to actually start checking things off I your list. I know planning is super fun. Like it's sexy, right? But the reaping of the rewards after you execute mm-hmm. is so great. Mm-hmm. So we're on day three. We're super happy you're here. We're super proud of your progress, but it's time to keep trucking on. It's time to like be even happier with all of your systems that we're setting up. Heck yeah! So let's get some stuff done. Today, actually today, we're gonna start checking things off. Planning our week, our actual week, and showing you how you can check it to be archived and check it to be done and like pat yourself on the back and be super, super happy about your entire life because we helped you get it organized. <laughs> so we're also going to help you avoid overwhelm. If you got your whole year planned out or even just a couple of weeks. Congratulations. In big picture strategy, you are going to look at it and be like, that's so much stuff. I am never going to get all of this done. And so what we're going to do today is help you figure out how you can have tunnel vision yeah, and be able to block out everything that's happening on yep. your picture strategy for a little bit, of, yep. a little bit of time so that you can start tackling things in chunks mm-hmm. and really start getting things done. Because the point is to see some friggin' progress. The point is to stop getting out, like getting out of that overwhelm of but I'm not really making waves in my business, but I'm not actually seeing progress. I'm just doing the mundane all the time because that's all that I have time for. Eh, That's all that you're making time for because you don't have everything organized just yet. So that's where we're coming in. That's why we're helping you because I feel like so many bosses use those excuses about like, I can't big picture plan. I can't implement a new fun strategy because I'm just doing the things that have to get done. And while you can't ignore those things, we're definitely not telling you to ignore them. There's a better way. There's a better way for you to plan your task and your day-to-day and your actual week so you can accomplish the things that need to get done today that absolutely have to get done. And you can also accomplish things that are going to help you accomplish big goals and big dreamy dreams. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to go flip over to Trello and we're going to actually show you this is literally what we do every single week in our own business. Are you ready? Are Are you ready? I feel like. Yes. I feel like you're ready. Okay, so we did it. This is it. This is your week. Are you excited? Uh, look how look, look how empty it is. You don't do anything. <laughs> Congratulations, you're done. That's how good we are at organizing your week. We've got all the things <laughs> done for you without you even having to do them. Okay, okay, JK, JK, that's not actually what's happening. We wanted to start in a blank current week or my week because it's easier for us to kind of walk you through how we use it and how we navigate it when there's not um, actual tasks that are getting in your way. And then we're going to show you how we move tasks over. So welcome to your week. This is what it looks like. You can drag and drop and organize these things however you want. If you want your week to start on a Monday and you don't want a Sunday column, totes fine. Delete it, move it, it doesn't matter. But a couple of points we wanted to show you were how we specifically use headers or labels to break up our day-to-day um, so we can kind of organize even further within in my week. So we use it as a partnership. Some of you might use it as uh, time blocking or just kind of like thematically task. It's totally up to you. So the first thing we have is ongoing tasks. And anything we put below ongoing are things that we have to do pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. So things like update social media, tackle emails, those sort of things. But to make the headers, we specifically add a label. So you can go into any card and add a label. We're going to go ahead and create a couple new cards as if you were going to time block your day. So we'll have an AM card and a PM card. And then we're going to add labels to those so that you can quickly tell where your headers start. And then we're going to add, we're going to show you soon how you're going to add tasks in between. Like right now. Oh, okay. (laughs) So check email, maybe you want to do that in the morning. So you literally just drag and drop it underneath your your AM task. Ongoing, maybe you need to 
post to Instagram, right? So you're going to leave that under ongoing. Maybe in the afternoon you need to um, call client, right? And obviously there's going to be more things. My guess is... And I really urge you to think about only tackling a couple of things per day. Now, you're going to have a list of probably some small things that may take you five minutes or less. And there might be five, ten of those. But on your overall what you want to accomplish today, you need to really only think about having four to five things maximum. And... You know, maybe even less than that. We really probably can only realistically accomplish two to three things a piece. Mm -hmm. And our business is getting four to five things done per day. Well, and I wanted to point out a, a different way that I can handle this. Some of you need the reminder to post to social every day. Some of you, you have it automated. Some of you, it, a VA is doing it. Some of you, like, you've just got it down, right? But some of you are like, oh, crap. I totally forgot to post to Instagram today or three days ago, right? And so you need that reminder. So instead of making a card for every single social account that you have to post to every single day, go ahead and pop that puppies in a checklist. And what you would do, how you would treat this is on Monday, when it's done, you could check it, right? Oh yeah, I already did all that stuff. Awesome. You're done for that day. Tuesday is a whole new day. You can just uncheck it, start over. Start over. You don't need to create the checklist every single time. It's already happened on Monday. Drag and drop that puppy. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Cool, okay. So now, now that we're like, okay, here's how I could organize my day. Here's how I could bring stuff over. Here's how I could organize them, like, you know, time blocking, or maybe you have a team member on your board or whatever. Customize that for how you see fit. Now, we need to load it with some actual tasks. So you probably had tasks created over in Big Picture Strategy, and we're gonna help you get them on your current week so that you can tackle them. Now, there are ways to automate this so you don't have to do it manually using systems like Butler or IFTTT, yep. but we're gonna just simply show you mm -hmm. like the two minute way to do it every single week. You mm -hmm. can do it on a Monday morning, you can do it on a Friday afternoon, and copy these tasks over to current week. You can learn more about that automation inside Trello for Business if that's something up your alley. But remember yesterday we planned out our whole year, right? We have the quarterly tasks, we have the mini tasks, we broke them out into launches, and all of these things have due dates. And remember how when we went to calendar view, we were able to see those spread out through the entire month of January, right? So now is when you head over, so say it's Friday afternoon or it's Monday morning, toast up to you, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna actually copy these cards over to your week. Now, you can either copy or move them. This is just a preference. If you move them, it's going to remove it from Big Picture Strategy and put it on My Week, and that's where it's going to live. So when you archive or delete it from My Week, it's gone. If you copy it, it's going to keep a copy copy on Big Picture Strategy and have a copy over on My Week. Totally up to you. We personally like to copy them so we can have kind of like a checks and balance when we go through at the end of the week or even after a couple weeks inside Big Picture Strategy and we're like, okay, did these things actually get done? Do we need to talk about them? Like what's happening? But that's mostly because there's two of us here and it's not just like one self checking in with everything really just find what suits your fancy. Right now, we're gonna copy them. Okay, so you're gonna hit which board. So you're gonna go to my week and pick which day of the week. So this was assigned on a Monday. So you're gonna copy it to Monday. So all you do is hit create card. Done. It's done. So let's just do Tuesday really quick. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing, my week. We're gonna do Tuesday. Awesome. Done. And we'll do Friday. Current week, my week, whichever. Friday. Perfect. Done. Okay, so now we're going to jump back to my week. And you're going to see those tasks ah! were put in there. Now, they're not going to be necessarily organized in, like, where you want them on the day. So you might want to move it to a.m. or p.m. 
you might want to keep it as an ongoing thing because it's going to take you more than one day to actually implement it. It really depends on how you want to organize it, but no, you can drag and drop them below or above any header that you create. Mm -hmm. So remember how in Big Picture, we just helped you schedule the date and schedule out ideas for um, a specific strategy that you're wanting to implement. You also have other due dates that you have in your business, right? Maybe you need to place an order by a certain day. You need to send an email. You need to um, give a client a proof, whatever it needs to be. You need to like take responsibility for the things that are also happening in your day-to-day -day business and input those into big picture. Whether that's organized by clients or product or a launch, that's up to you. We have further strategies on how you can do that inside Trello for Business, but you need to be slapping dates on all of the things that you need to be accomplishing this week, right now. What needs to be happening? And that's all you need to be looking at. So you might once a month, once a quarter, go into big picture strategy and spend a couple of hours, mm -hmm. like really detail planning out. But on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis, like you might only spend 30 minutes adding all of your tasks in and mm -hmm. then like filling in the holes like, okay, this popped up or I know this is going to happen. And you can realistically look at it and be like, you know what? I can get this all done. Mm -hmm. I can accomplish all these tasks. So what happens once you actually get something done and you want to check it off? Okay, so you create the YouTube channel. Now this might be something where um, you need to keep track of the information somewhere else. So that's going to live in a separate place inside Trello. But as the task itself, it's done, right? So you literally get to press this little button called archive and it's done. And it's totally done. So now if you had notes on that, if you had things you needed to access from it, you can always search for it and find it again because you just archived it. Mm -hmm. If you just plain wanted to delete it because it, it didn't really mean anything. Like this one because we added our checklist of Instagram. Delete. Which, yeah. Oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. Get out of my life. Now the deleted tasks you can't find. Archive tasks you can always search for and send it back to your mm -hmm. board. So one of the biggest issues or things, right? It's not necessarily an issue because we've all got it. That we get asked about all the time on how to deal with my week. What about those tasks that I know need to happen, but I don't necessarily know when they're going to happen. I just need to kind of be reminded about them. They're kind of ongoing, but kind of not. We like to refer to that list as your shit list, right? <laughs> it's the dump of all of the things that you're like, I need to acknowledge it, but I don't really know when it's gonna happen. Well, you can literally make a list be your shit list. We don't really have weekend cards on our week because that's not how our business rolls. So you could literally huh, make this your shit list. So there are things that are gonna pop up. Like, you know, you need to address um, changes to like, uh, like a link on website or whatever. Like if it's not pertinent, but it needs to happen and you just need to be like, whenever I can fit this in, I need to kind of check in with it. Or you need to like pay a contract, right? Or you need right. to like check your bank account, or right. you need to call someone. You know, things that come up that are not necessarily huge, mm -hmm. but they're just they're just they need to happen, right? So you're gonna put them on your shit list, and at the beginning of every week, I want you to address it. Yeah. Does this look like something I should be tackling this week, mm -hmm. or do I just need to leave it over here? Sometimes we've had stuff pile up in our shit list where we realize, you know what, that's more of a bigger picture game plan. So I'm going to copy that card over to big picture strategy and we're going to implement and put it in with other tasks that we're doing throughout the year. Or if it's something that we just keep avoiding and just needs to get done, whenever we have free minutes in our week, that's when we kind of look at that list and say, okay, can we remove anything off of here? I, I encourage you to have this list with kind of a caveat because our brains like have these things constantly running and sometimes it feels like it takes us a lot of energy to like okay when is this thing gonna happen where is it gonna go what card does it make sense to put under and we don't have the time to tackle that with every single mundane thing that our business needs so it's gonna land in this list but I also encourage you designate that time in your week to go through the list and move the things out of it it's so easy to let this thing pile up. We've been guilty of it before. So you really need to 
hold yourself accountable and just make sure that you are designating time to check in with this thing so it doesn't get out of hand, right? Well, plus, a lot of those things are probably going to be short tasks that only take a couple of minutes a yeah. piece. So you might say, okay, Friday afternoon, I don't really have anything I have to get done done, but I'm going to take five of those five minute things and get those done and then wrap up shop early. Yep. So this really creates a way, the reason why, you know, we're copying over the items from big picture strategy is because so many of us look at the things in our business and we are constantly thinking about all of them. And we've been guilty of, have you guys done this? Where you're, you're knee deep in the middle of a project and you're knee deep in the middle of strategizing something and implementing it. And you kind of like sit up and you're like, this doesn't even make sense for me to be even doing right now. Like this literally isn't due until next month or three months from now. And there are other pressing matters that I need to be spending my attention on. This type of strategy and planning helps prevent that from happening. It still is going to happen. We're creatives. That's how our brains work. Sometimes it's a hot freaking mess back here. But this really gives you a system that you can check in with and really like, nope, rein in my focus rein in my sparkly squirrel syndrome and really pay attention to what needs to happen this week because I know that the tasks that I'm doing this week, if they've been brought over from Big Picture Strategy, if they've been brought over from that list that's going to help you accomplish Q1, Q2, etc., you can know that at least every single day, even if it's for a small task, that you're accomplishing something that is a big dreamy goal of yours. And you know every single day with at least a small task, you're taking strides to accomplish that end of the year revenue goal. And I think when we begin to recognize that we're doing that, even little by little, we can begin to be super proud with the stuff that we're actually accomplishing every week. So what's your homework, babes? Hey, <laughs> we've got homework for you because we've had homework for you every day. So what are we gonna do today? So really, it's pretty simple. You're gonna go in and you're gonna take my week and you're gonna customize it for you and your business. Do you need specific headers? Do you need certain ongoing tasks that you want to go ahead and create the checklist for? Mm -hmm. Do you need a shit list? Do you need to have like a to discuss column? Mm -hmm. What is it that you need to really make sure that you have a hub going? So this is the only place you're looking at to accomplish the things you need to get done in your business. Yep. So then we need to copy over your task onto your week for one week only. So I want you to go into big picture and I want you to fill in the holes. Maybe you've dreamed up your quarterly task, your end of the year task, and you've dreamed up those strategies. Well, what else is going on in your business? What else do you need to be mindful of due date wise, planning wise, break out all of that stuff and look at this week only. Copy over this week only, right? And so look at what you have to accomplish for the rest of this week and tackle it. Copy those things over so you can start to see what needs to happen. And then you actually execute. You do it. So now you have it on your week. You can see on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Like you're somewhere in the middle of the week right now. Yeah. You're going to look at that task and say, you know what? Okay, this is going to take me 30 minutes. I'm mm -hmm. going to get started right now and I'm going to check it off. Mm -hmm. Then you get it done. I urge you to try before you do anything else is to get that number one priority out of the way. Mm -hmm. Don't do the like five minute tasks mm -hmm. here and there and the checking the email and all that other stuff first. It's going to get you distracted. Do the thing that's going to move your business forward mm -hmm. and going to ultimately get you to that revenue goal. Because once you do that, you know what you can do? Rejoice! You guys are so happy! You can be like, oh my God, I actually did it this week. It could be before lunchtime and you already have the thing done. Right? How exciting. How incredible is that going to be? It's when you start to pay attention to these tasks that are going to move your business forward and then, I don't know, actually do them, that you begin to see massive progress and changes in your business. And we want to hear about it. Yeah. So pop over in the group and talk about the amazing things that you're accomplishing mm -hmm. this week. What are some things that have really surprised you and been like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually super productive. I had no idea this was even possible. Wow. When I begin to look at my week and, and can tell myself, oh, this is what I'm doing every day this week. How freeing is that? And how less stressful is that? If you spend the time planning, then you can spend the time doing and then you get more time because we just saved you time. You're welcome. Are you excited for tomorrow? 
So you're going to come back tomorrow and join us so that you can never get into that hot mess express again.